Boise, Idaho is one of the coolest small cities in the U.S. Want to know why? Here's the lowdown from someone born in Boise, me. Let's start with food. Everyone likes to eat. Boise's best known food is a potato, but perhaps our best known cuisine is Basque. Basque immigrants flocked to Idaho from Spain in the mid-1800s to mine for gold and herd sheep. Idaho now has more Basque residents than any other state, and we have plenty of wonderful Basque restaurants in the Treasure Valley. The Basque block in downtown Boise features restaurants, murals, and a Basque museum, and hosts the annual San Ignacio Festival in July, featuring music, dancing, and plenty of excellent food. But Boise also offers restaurants from a surprising range of cuisines, from Thai, Indian, and Ethiopian, to French, Russian, Iraqi, and everything in between. And excellent Mexican restaurants can be found throughout the valley, from little mom-and-pop affairs to award-winning kitchens that would be at home in any big city. Pub fare is also big in Boise, as are breweries. At last count, we had more than a dozen local breweries offering craft brews made with Idaho-grown hops and other local ingredients. And don't forget wine. Local wines from Sunny Slope and other noted wine-growing regions are available in many restaurants in Boise. To top things off, Boise has several James Beard Award semi-finalists serving their specialties in local restaurants. We may not be the biggest city, but we do enjoy food and good eating here in the City of Trees. Love music? Check out the Tree Fort Music Fest, held in downtown Boise every March. Now in its 11th year, it just keeps getting bigger and better. It's a giant street party. Throughout the year, smaller venues host concerts in more intimate settings, and the Western Idaho Fair in August always features a lineup of nationally known music acts. The Morrison Center for the Performing Arts near the BSU campus offers everything from ballet and Irish dance to stage plays, musicals, orchestral performances, rock and roll, and pretty much everything else you can think of. And if you need a good dose of outdoor summer theater, the Idaho Shakespeare Festival has a beautiful venue in East Boise. Pack a picnic dinner, bring your folding chairs, and spread out on the lawn for performances that range from the works of the bard himself to modern classics and new plays. Like sports? Boise State University sports teams offer something to cheer about almost year-round. Our local Bronco fans are extremely loyal and loud. Anyone within a couple of miles of the BSU football stadium will be able to hear the crowd loudly and clear on game day. Outdoor activities are probably top of the list for most Boiseans. If we're not hitting the slopes or riding the gigantic mountain coaster at Bogus Basin, we're hiking the foothills, climbing Table Rock, or rafting the Boise River. Or fishing in a quiet pond, biking along the Greenbelt with friends, or simply walking the dog. Idahoans love their dogs, and we consistently rank in the top three states for dog ownership. Our garages are stuffed full of kayaks, camping equipment, ATVs, and bikes, to the point where our cars and trucks won't fit in our garages. Name an outdoor activity, and you could probably find someone doing it here in Boise at this very minute. And don't forget Zoo Boise, the Boise Art Museum, and the Idaho State Museum, all located on the grounds of Julius Davis Park. Art in the Park is held there every summer and draws huge crowds from around the valley and surrounding states. The Peregrine Fund's amazing World Center for Birds of Prey, just south of the city, lets you get up close and personal with hawks, eagles, even condors. The center works to protect and rejuvenate endangered species, including the peregrine falcon, their most famous success story so far. Don't overlook the Idaho Fish and Game MK Nature Center, a beautiful little facility that gives visitors a fish-eye view of Idaho's aquatic wildlife, especially trout and sturgeon. These are just a few of the things that make Boise such a fun and vibrant small city. But what about some of the equally important but less flashy aspects of life? Healthcare. We have two major hospital systems rest systems represented in Boise, St. Luke's and St. Al's. St. Al's has a level two trauma center. St. Luke's is the largest private employer in the state with many hospitals and clinics throughout the area. Private urgent care clinics can be found in the Treasure Valley. Employment, in addition to St. Luke's, many Boise employers include the state of Idaho, BSU, Micron, and of course the school district. It's always wise to have a job lined up before making a move though, just in case. Housing. 
Housing is tight in Boise as it is throughout most of Idaho, and I know because I'm a Boise-based realtor. Housing prices are higher in Boise and the rest of Ada County than they are elsewhere in the Treasure Valley. Boise's different neighborhoods are covered in my Boise Metro Relocation Guide, which you can grab at no charge by using the link in the description below. If you love classic architecture from the late 1800s or early 1900s, check out the North End or the Warm Springs area. If mid-century modern is your thing, you may find what you're looking for on the Boise Bench, the elevated area that starts at the top of Capitol Boulevard and runs parallel to the river. To the north and northeast of the city in the foothills, you'll find expensive homes with gorgeous views. To the south, you'll find our airport and mile after mile of subdivisions. Housing types include lots of single family, some condos, a lot of townhomes, a reasonable number of 55 plus developments, and a lot of rental housing, especially downtown and near BSU. Manufactured housing on rented lots is slowly being turned into infill subdivisions, but there are stu still a few manufactured housing estates in the city. Don't expect to find any bargains in Boise though, unless you're coming from a part of the country with housing prices much lower than ours. A good Idaho realtor can help you set realistic expectations when you're ready to begin your home search. Check out my video tour of the Boise metro area in the video above and give me a call or send an email today if you want to start house hunting.